Hmm? What's that? I'm sorry. I, I wasn't just, I wasn't paying attention at all. I'm kind of Mr. Fix-It around here, and I've just got to configure this machine for... Anyways, you'll have to excuse me. Hey, if you've got a dome, put it on. If you don't, you're in big trouble. I saw Tuba around here a minute ago. And if he sees you, he'll toss you for sure. Oh, I'd give you one, but I don't have any. I gave them all to Riel about an hour ago. You know Riel, uh, part native, dark hair. Go find him, I think he's in the back. Do it now. Gee, I'm sorry, I'm just not hearing you. This system isn't exactly trivial, and Vito wants me to run things from here for his final performance. I could run it a lot easier over the network from my main terminal, but... Well, that's how all the games are run. Well, you know, the game. I'm telling you. So what do you think? So you haven't tried it yet? You want to try it? Oh, that's a drag. Well, maybe you should try it again. Maybe it'll grow on you. It's, it's not really my best work. Speaking of which, I got to get back to it. Well, I guess you have to spend a little time with it. There are lots of free machines. Uh, everybody here is about sick of it by now. Maybe you should give it another try. Come on. I gotta get back to work here. Oh, great. <laughs> Thanks. I'm, yeah, I'm responsible. Uh, I kind of whipped it together for this party. It's not really my best work, but, but it's kind of fun. So, do you get off on this computers, technology, high-tech stuff? Oh, you should. It's quite amusing. But I gotta get back to work. It's more than a job. I breathe this stuff. It's not just brains, it's heart. My soul is in the software. You obviously can have no idea what it is to be what you do. How dare you stand there and judge me that way? I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I guess you must have hit a nerve. Man, I'm overtired. Don't let me bother you. I'd really love to chat here, but... Well, there are a million little circuits counting on me, so... Wow! Yeah. I, I guess. Thanks. Okay. Sure, I, I can see that. Hey, you, you'll, you'll have to excuse me. Uh, I really got to do this. This isn't just some casual fixation. Some pointless sidetrack on the great march of civilization. It's the whole thing. The finish line. It's why we've been at it for so long. It's the big payoff. When I was a kid, I used to drive my parents crazy. I took everything apart to see how it worked. And I used to get this feeling while I was doing it that I wasn't just playing with these like complicated toys or something. I really felt like I was becoming one of these things deconstructing myself to see how I worked, putting myself back together. I remember it was like being incredibly stoned. So what'd you think? Thanks. I'm better now. I guess it's being out here. I thought it would be easier jacking right into this terminal, but the distraction factor has completely stressed me out. I I'm going to go back in my room. You want to come? I mean, it's great work. I, I love it and all, but it demands a lot of concentration and, well, you know, in this environment. So, what do you think of all this high-tech stuff?
computers, stuff like that? Well, thank you very much. Why don't you just take that and wrap it in pink fiberglass and shove it as far as you can reach? So, do you get off on this whole high-tech thing? Thanks. That's... that's very flattering. Hey, hey, I'm not an ecstasy animal like these other drones. I'm sorry, but you're coming on way too strong. I am out of here. Well, what in hell do you know about it? Have you ever designed your own operating system? Ever configure a global satellite connection on a napkin in a diner? Isn't it just possible that maybe somebody knows more about this than you do? I'm sorry. No, I, I'm, I'm really sorry. Man, I've been up way too long. You'll just have to try to forgive me. I must be really getting on your nerves. Well, let me give you the big bulletin. You're going to have to, whether you're ready or not. And people like me? Well, someone has to drive. <laughs> if you want to know the truth, I think that high technology, like this computer, well, it's alive. As much as you or I. It may not metabolize or reproduce or whatever, but it's alive. And it has a soul. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're flirting now. Oh well, maybe next time. Enjoy the party. I'll be back out later for Vito's final act. Don't miss that. Great. Let's go. I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Please forgive me. You've been very nice, but I'm afraid it's been much too distracting out here for me. I'll be able to work much better back in my little studio. I'll come out again later. Maybe I'll see you then? Bye. <sighs> I'm going to have to go. I'll be able to work much better back in my little workshop. You've been very nice. Uh, the party's almost over. Don't miss Fido's final performance, eh? See ya. This whole thing's been so bizarre. I'm drained. So, how much about this thing do you know anyways? Well, it's probably for the best. Right now, I wish I could just forget about it. Oh yeah, the great cult. Yeah. Well, I can certainly talk to you about the cult. Do you know about the secret file on the mode machine? Well, you want to know how I get into it? It's really easy. You want me to show you? Let me show you some specs. Ah, so you've seen the file. Well, I might have a nice little treat for you then. An even more secret file. Ob almost nobody but myself knows about it. Here, watch. It's all so strange to me now. And it started normally too. Well, sort of. Vito pulled me out of school to help him build some interactive sculpture pieces. And they were cool and smart. But now... Ah, uh, I don't want to talk about it. Tell me about yourself. It's probably just as well. I'm tempted to go in there and erase the file. It was Sir Vito, right? Here, you use the trackball and I'll talk you through it. And here we go. Here, you use the trackball and I'll talk you through it. And here we go. The actual theory on which the dome is based is pretty complex. But essentially, it's just a transceiver. Inside its hollow is a web of microcircuits. When you put it on your finger, the moisture from your skin makes a contact and um, the dome is activated. It then becomes a receiver to a special kind of uh, microwave energy 
which I can broadcast through the room from the computer. That energy picked up by the, by the dome is amplified and modified by the neural pathways of the person wearing the dome. It's then sent back out through the dome to the person being touched. The, uh, it, it temporarily induces in the brain a wave pattern that corresponds to a euphoric uh, dream state. Well, usually. It has other effects. <laughs> Get into the Edom file, and whenever you see Vito, just click on him like crazy till he freaks. I took this without his permission. You won't tell him, will you? Huh? <laughs> The point is, it's all bullshit. He made it all up. Well, he took some real stuff, some real religious spiritualist stuff from books, but most of it, the people, the places, the events, his involvement, it's all made up. It's all social propaganda. Well, there's something else about Vito's final act. Uh, I don't know if I should tell you. I don't know. I never would have done something like this to Vito. Last year even. I love him. He's like the father I never had. But I don't know. It's like he's gone mad or something. It was all supposed to be for fun. But now his plan has gone all dark and sinister. Oh, oh man. I gotta wake up. I gotta go take a shower. I'm sorry if I'm being rude. But uh, you can hang around, play the game, read some files, whatever. I'll just be out in a few minutes. If you're still around, that's great. If not, well, I guess I'll see you later on, okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I gotta get ready. I gotta take a shower and get ready for the end. Uh, uh, feel free, play the game or read some files or whatever. Uh, I'll just be out in a few minutes if you want to wait. If not, well, I guess I'll see you later on, okay? See you later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I gotta get ready. I gotta take a shower and get ready for the end. Uh, uh, feel free, play the game or read some files or whatever. I'll just be out in a few minutes if you want to wait. If not, well, I guess I'll see you later on, okay? See you later. Exactly. It's gotten out of hand. And someone's going to get hurt. I don't know. Yeah. It used to be for fun. We used to laugh all the time. Now? Now it's like we're engineering the end of the world or something. Vito's even starting to get one of those Jim Jones stands. Well, I suppose. It does have its humorous elements. I mean, sure, it's brilliant. Well, because, because Vito's brilliant, right? Well, still... Hmm... I guess I better not. Ah, what the hell. Check this out. The problem is, Vito gave me the idea that this whole thing would be wild and funny. A kind of anti-fashion show. But then he started reading these books and devising this whole cult thing. He was going to satirize it in the beginning, you know, uh, leak false information to the press, uh, create a scandal, a big hoax thing, and at the end let everybody in on it. But now, now his intentions are on creating the cult. It's really spooky. Oh 
Oh, you're still here. Great. I won't be a minute. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I got some work to catch up on, so uh, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm really sorry about this, but uh, tell you what, I'll catch you later, okay? Bye-bye now. Hurry up, get up. We gotta get going. Vito, he's coming on soon. Oh. What am I gonna do with that? All right, you ready? Let's go. After you. Yours. Ah, oh, come on! Show a little decorum here. Get out of here. Come on. Get out of here. Jeez, I'll be out in a few minutes. Come on. Get out. Jesus. Hey, come on. Listen, I'm sorry if I gave you the wrong impression, but. Uh... I'll be out in a few minutes, okay? No, you're right. He'd be so mad at me. Anyways, I wouldn't want to spoil the big production. We've been working so hard on it. Here he comes. I don't know either. I guess I won't. I'm such a chicken shit. Anyways, you better get yourself a good seat. I think we're about to go on. Yeah. Yeah, I will. I will. You better get yourself a good spot, eh? You're gonna love it. You've been a very good influence on me. Here comes Vito. Don't say a word. You ready? Yeah. Excuse us, we have to talk. Just run along. Thanks. Listen, I'm going to give you a nod from the stage when I'm ready for the techno stuff. Okay. Tuba's throwing everybody out who doesn't have a dome. Yeah. 
so we're ready to go. All right, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> All right. See ya. Hi, how's it going? I'm sorry, but I really can't talk to you right now. The final number's coming up and I gotta get ready for it. I'm running things from here. It's really crazy. Oh, please don't give me any more grief. I really have to work here. This has been one deeply disturbed gathering, wouldn't you say? I won't be sad when it's all over. Oh, here comes Vito. I guess it's lights out time. Hi there. How are you doing? You were totally out of it. So I let you sleep it off in there. Oh, you look good. Oh, get yourself a seat. The big axe coming up. Well, here we go. I don't know. What should I do? I mean, I have another option instead of the big flame out. And it's pretty good. Do you think he's nuts? I don't know. What should I do? Should I change it? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I I'm working on this machine. Just look around, there are lots of free terminals. Oh, man. I'm sorry about the mess. I've been stuck in here for weeks on fast food trying to get the party ready. Well, just clear yourself a space and uh, set yourself down. That's what I'm starting to think. I don't know. 